My name is Mark Park, and that means one thing, talent and charisma. The pressures of Mark's newfound celebrity status meant that he now needed a manager. He settled for local entrepreneur Bernie Santangelo, owner of BS Entertainments, a subsidiary of BS Taxis. I decided to go with Bernie because he was a lot like me in many ways. Hello, Ambitious, talented, Hello, successful, and he'd also handled the Nolans. The minute I clapped eyes him, I knew he had what it takes. He had that aura, special kind of magic. You know, you can't buy that for love and money. It's a gift. It really is. It's rare and it's precious like gold. What is it? <laughs> that is talent, my friend. And this lad shits it. And he better not suffer from vertigo neither, because he's going straight to the top. Just a man with a man's courage. After the surprise success of the debut single, Bernie was finally in a position to negotiate a record deal for Mark's much anticipated first album. This is it. This is what it's all been leading to. This is my album, my baby. This. Then we go straight to Radio Gaga. It's a very eclectic mix, the album. There's new and there's old on it. I really wanted it to be a reflection of my influences, a tribute to the artists that have helped influence my talent. I've always been passionate about black music, that rural, ethnic, soulful sound, the sound of the streets, Aswad, UB40, Eddie Grant, uh, the albums enabled me to work with some of the finest musicians in the world. The Samambi Singers are an incredible trio. We flew over from South Africa. Uh, I heard the tape once at a party. I was blown away by the vocality. So skillful. I wanted to embrace that, that, that pure sound, harness that pure energy. And don't worry, I'm not doing a bloody Paul Simon Grayson thing. Yeah, that was terrible. He just exploited those people. I mean, it, as if they hadn't been through enough already. I saw that film, Armistad, on uh, Sky Premier the other night. I mean, those guys really had a rough ride. Whoa, whoa. This album sounds like it's come from your heart. What did you want to say with African Tears? I wanted to say something about the turmoil that the people of Africa have been through. I want to tell... Not just them, anyone who's ever experienced any form of hatred and oppression, anyone who's ever felt that painful fear of not knowing where your next meal's coming from, or anyone who's ever had to fight to exist, to struggle. I, I struggled for many years as a greengrocer in the fruit and veg business. They were hard times. I used to cry myself to sleep many nights, and like so many others, I found faith in the future through African tears. African tears fall from the sky, rain in our huts. African tears, African tears for souvenirs, and no one seems to care at all. Down in Soweto. Think about the money he gets. This is great, lads. Absolutely fantastic. Things couldn't be better for Mark Park. His success in the last 12 months have brought him all the trappings of stardom. What do you think? This is mine, personalised on the plate. I know you don't have to be famous to have one, but I think you look like a tosser if you do and you're not. Memk 2. Memk 2. That, that, that's the strangest thing because that was already on when I got her. What does it mean? Well, it's me. It's, it's, it's me. I don't understand. Well, it, it's me. Look, well, me's there already. Look, me, Mark Park. Me, Mark Park. I know there's no um, C on Park, but 
Well, you can have that, um, you can have Mark Park there, or you can have it there. Me, Mark Park. Forget the C, and forget the two, the two doesn't mean anything, but me, Mark Park. Look at that. That's fake, that. Shit like that freaks me out. Bernie got the house for me. I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. And he got a, he got a great deal as well. He, he managed, the guy wanted a quick sale, so he managed to get the, the place job locked, furniture and everything. Fargan Bernie, that's what I like to call him. I'm, in the, I'm still in the middle of moving in. I'm thinking about getting the place double glazed because I, I, I can imagine it, it'll probably be a bugger to heat in winter. I try to live a pretty routine life. The first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is yoga. I find it helps stimulate my mind and my body. I can do things now with my body that I couldn't do when I was 16. It's very exciting.